God, where do I start with this video? I just had one of the best experiences watching a movie, let alone an anime, because I was not ready for the absolutely beautiful world Studio Bones have created here. I mean, the story itself is also pretty impressive, but I don't think it would have made much more of an impact if the visuals were lacking. Jose the Tiger and the Fish is a story about a young man named Suneo and a girl named Jose. Sunio is a young college student who works at an underwater diving shop with his friends Mai and Hayato. He has the dream of getting a scholarship for the University of Mexico so that he could see the clarion angelfish. Jose is a disabled girl who lives with her grandmother. The two meet when Jose almost gets into an accident. After saving Jose, Sunio is offered a part-time job to look after Jose, as if he didn't already have one, and is offered a good sum of money in exchange. Little did he know that looking after Jose was actually obeying every order that she gives. Now the movie is roughly about an hour and 40 minutes long, and the development of the characters is chef's kiss. Jose is a shut-in, although she wishes to see the outside world. But the people around her see her mostly as an inconvenience since she's disabled, which scares her. This is a massive obstacle which she metaphorically calls a tiger. Sunio is genuinely a good person who helps Jose see the better side of the world and is the first proper friend she actually makes. The supporting cast in most movies are underused, which really leave them with no proper foundation to stand upon. But I really couldn't see myself hating anyone except for this asshole. People have their own circumstances and make bad decisions, but that doesn't necessarily make them bad characters. Jose at the beginning gives off massive Sunre vibes, but the more I watched, I really started to understand why she was so distant and rude to Sunyo at the beginning. The movie makes it pretty clear with people sacrificing many things on the line with a really well-written script and stunning animation. There isn't overused expository dialogue or cliché anime tropes. So when Granny says that Jose is in danger outside of her house, then you can really feel and really understand why that's the case. The music also respects all of the elements the story has to offer. I mean, God, the score is beautiful. The soundtrack is done by Avon who also did the music for, wait, gotta find a famous series, oh, Violet Evergarden. It is not your typical slice of life score which just does the job when it matters. It is genuinely an uplifting and comforting track and right when the movie was start to end, they brought in Eve. Like, do I really need to tell how good the music is now? As far as the animation goes, uh, imagine ordering your favorite flavor of pizza. Large size just for yourself with the restaurant gives out to you fresh and complimentary. That's what the animation is like. I genuinely feel like I ended up landing many spoilers in this video because every single frame of this movie is absolutely gorgeously detailed. Drawings by the characters look better than actual drawings, food looks better than some real dishes and the water, damn it bones can I take a bath in this? To be fair the story is not a masterpiece. The manga sits with a rating of 7.7 .7 on my anime list and has only 11 chapters which were published in two volumes. What truly brings out the best of this story is incredible voice acting, gorgeous animation and great attention to the pacing. Despite being more of a romance driven story, it never forgets the core purpose of the characters in it and that's what makes it so heartwarming to watch. Jose, Sunio, Mai, Hayato and Granny have more presence than any of the characters in these other stories. Oh and did I mention how great the animation is? Jose the Tiger and the Fish is a story about developing relationships and growing up. It is a simple story told very effectively through setting up the atmosphere by its music, animation and script. It isn't my favorite movie but it definitely is one I recommend everyone to watch. 